Welcome back under the traffic lights. I know we're not the only game in town, but I'm glad you're horned out with us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's horse, plenty of horse on Game Street on the weekends. You got to pick a horse. Just pick depends on how one. much you want to spend. This one's free. It's on the house. We're that easy. We are that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back on the podcast side, my <laughs> friend. Devin Alvey. Hello. <laughs> Great to see you again, my friend. You too. You too. You too. What have you been up to? Uh, wrestling. Wrestling all winter. Uh, finally just got done a few weeks ago. Had our banquet tonight. We are officially done now until actually hockey gets over. Oh. And we'll go right back into wrestling. There's some summer stuff, but this takes up all my free time to you know, do some off-season stuff. But I'm okay with that. Need a break from certain things. Sure. What ages are you? Uh, it's preschool to eighth grade, but I mainly focus with the fourth to eighth grade kids. Okay. Sorry when they're trying to become little assholes. <laughs> so well, that was going to bring my next question. Like, do you have any problems with the kids? Because all I hear from like her and like Austin Roseboro said, my high school, all these kids are animals. There are, yeah. there's, a, there's every age group or any grade is always going to have like the handful mm -hmm. and I've had a handful and it's you could say it's the same handful since I started coaching right they just have gotten older right. but they're starting to mature now and there's a new you get those three four kids right. every year that take over that role but I'm not at the high school level yet but there's some that I know where yeah they are they're hellions <laughs> do you know Lincoln Jip uh I know his dad okay yeah, that's his mom's one of my friends. Okay. Yeah. Great question for a national podcast. Yeah. Anyone, you want to shout out to anybody else? No? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We had great news about Tug Fest today. It's mm -hmm. coming back. Is it? Yeah. You really didn't know? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is breaking news, people. Breaking news. I had no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They announced today they're going to do it. They just got to get the course en engineer approval. Oh, so they are doing yeah. a barge. Yeah. Okay. You see, I knew that idea was coming about. Okay. But I didn't know if it was actually going to be a thing. So uh, okay. I kinda, once I heard the whole first thing. I kind of just like brush it off. I'm like, yeah, I get to spend the whole, like actually happy, I get to spend the whole week at that deck. Right. It's like Saturday, I'm not there until like three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So like all the really good round robin D1, D2 games, and I can even do three the last few years, are always in that morning time. Yeah, right, right. So I can never watch them on a score keep, you know, sure. work. Yeah. Because I'm, I should say working them, than I'm watching the type thing. Yeah, yeah. So, right. but yeah, I guess I, guess I don't, I can't be there this year. Yeah, right. right. Okay. Yeah. Were, were you were you on board with what the Iowa side was saying? Pretty much you said before the current you thought affected yeah. it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Just because, I mean, it's a given. Like I, I, my best analogy I could say is you take a dog, like, let's say a wiener dog or a shih tzu, something small, and you put a, one of the like weighted life jackets on it, like a life jacket on, yeah. and you pull it strictly out of dead water, mm -hmm. it's really easy. You take it in a, in a current and you try to pull it out, it's very difficult. And that's what the rope does. It just goes underneath the current and it just, you know, uh, mm -hmm. water, you can, I'll just say water rotation, you mm -hmm. know, like a tunnel effect over the rope. It just, you know, keeps weighing it down and you can't pull yeah. it up out of water. And I'm kind of, if they're doing a barge, I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it. Uh-huh. To see if it's actually fully like up out of the water or if it's up out of the current. Mm. They said that some know. of it would still be in the water, but it would still be able to you'd lift be able to lift over your head. Okay, so. then good. Then yeah. the actual the proven fact of what state is better or who can you know yeah. who's, who's the better state will actually be like proven. You know, now granted, twenty years ago when I was a kid, it was different. It'd go back and forth, mm -hmm. you know. But times change. The water's changed since there's been three floods. Yeah, you know. So right, okay. Well, man, I didn't think I'd break that news to you. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, what's in store for you for this season? How many teams are we rocking? Three again. All right. But I, I dropped a higher level to go down 
Yeah, have some fun. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, we gonna have fun. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Like, yeah. granted, I have fun on my other teams, like the team right. I helped put together with Ryan, right. and playing D1 with all you know all those guys. But like, <laughs> truly having fun, like where I kind of started playing. Yeah, you know, and D3 right. is gonna be, right. it's gonna be a blast. I, I, I said something to Brendan in the springtime or right. the summertime, and in the fall time I was serious. And I'm like. Let's do it. Right. right. Let's do it. And I, yeah. I honestly can't wait to play. I'm going to be more excited to play those 24 games than the other sure. 48. Right. 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 Teams, right. So. Sure. Yeah. And it allow you to have more of a, you do, you have a leadership role in three plus, I think, mm -hmm. too. But yeah, this is where you'll be one of the star players, you know, leadership wise yeah. and skill wise, too, you know. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Just play. I can say this from just from playing upward. Yeah. Like playing with like Bobby and Swisher and Pat mm -hmm. and Nick, like playing against them and with them from D one to two plus. Like you see them in different roles from yeah. D one to two plus. Right. You know, like I played with Swisher last season. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a leader in two plus. Like, I, like I can't say a true leader, but like he's the captain yeah. in two plus. To where in D one, you know, Nick's our captain or our co like true leader mm -hmm. type thing. And then you see how his role plays, and then. You know, I kind of feed off those attributes. You know, even though I have Ryan on my team in three plus, sure. You know, he's got a different perspective playing with bandits or dailies, and we kind of you know mesh that. And I mean, everyone's got some sort of a role on a team. Right. Doesn't matter your ranking. It's just if people truly trust you. I think everybody on the teams I play, I trust. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whatever they say, whatever you like. I mean, you watch as much hockey as I do while we're up there. Mm -hmm. You know, you see how certain people play. Like, I'm going to take into consideration what you play. Yeah. Or what you say. And even Nate Whelan being our goalie, you know, type thing. It's just sure. it's just what everyone sees or how everyone plays type thing. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm certainly jacked for it, man. And mm -hmm. Brenda told me that in the fall. I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you tried to leave. And I said, yeah. nope, what I'm playing is with Mark. That's Yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, that was the thing that helped me stay. Yeah, obviously I yeah. love Brendan, so I'm really looking forward to that for sure. Um, man, I had a lot of great UFC questions today, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not. My I guess that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> they had a scheduling conflict. Uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot to put it in his calendar. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It happens. I would dip the show too. <laughs> Dip's a cool word, right, Alexis? That means. You ain't playing my games today? Okay. <laughs> I was just happy to have guests that know the game, play the game, think the game. Because mm -hmm. there's some shows out there, they just get guys that hold the door. They hold a big boom. Yeah. Or hold the door for anarchy. That's their claim to fame, right? First off, that's yeah. Riley's job, okay? And Riley's job only. He does a very good job. Yeah. <laughs> and he, when he does well, he gets rewarded. They actually let him play in a game or two. That's so. true. Just want to say thank you, to, first and foremost, to all my guests. Because they've been great. So, I guess if you're ready, man, let's dive into these rosters, huh? I'm in. All right, all in. And we're going to go through them all. Every person, because every person matters, like every, you said. Every person does matter. Every person has a role, and that's yeah. why we go through the list from top to bottom. Right. We're like cheers. Everybody knows your name. But first, uh, big voice guy's back. <laughs> yeah, I added Yeah, He's back. I like him. I like yeah. him. And how are, you, are you paying him at all? On the side. Huh. Yeah. It's a tax right off. At least, at least he's getting something. Right, right. He's getting something. He's getting something, all right. Yeah. So, pardon me. I just oh. like it. Okay. No, right. <laughs> right. 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 D1. Last year, the crew showed they had the bigger sausage to defeat Domino's and claim the cup. Will the crew dynasty stay on the right track? That was for Mick, all right? Or will it all be for nothing? All be for nothing. Thank you, big boys guy. Great work, great work. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Great job. Yes. It's funny how you always disappear when big boys guy comes on. Gotta get a drink of right. water. Yeah. Yeah. With a whistle. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, hey. you coming back? <laughs> no. <laughs> D1, like I heard on this other podcast, there's four teams. We're going to do the, uh, the championship team last, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Great. Yeah. Okay. That team. Do that last. Okay. Yeah. The back to back champs. Back to back. Yeah. Freaking okay. dynasty. So mm -hmm. we'll start with Duck City Bistro. Then. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Chef says Duck City is not the best restaurant he's been to. Oh, really? You said last time. If yeah, I remember that. It's, uh, it was not. No, I wasn't a fan the last time I went. Good to know. We're too poor. We've never That's why I never the other, the other time The other time <laughs> I went, it was good. I don't know if I just got a bad batch of meal. Maybe. Or there was just so many people. Was it a party? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or a different chef that night? Maybe. Yeah. But it's 50-50 it's still. Okay. Good and bad. Okay. The experience because I've only been two experiences. Like I have a third. Yeah. You know. We've got to try it sometime. You have to. Yeah. Oh no, I Big do. Big anniversary, no, I... birthday, promotion, something. Right. Right. Promotion. Maybe we had DoorDash there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Well, lay it on me, uh, old Duck City back. All right. Veteran team. We've got Andrew Kramer. Okay. Scott Smith. Darren McMillan. Perry Former Jim Mallard, did you know that? I didn't know and that. And Scott Smith. And Scott Smith. And Scott Smith. You can't forget about yeah. him. Uh, Perry Jacobs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Aaron Schultz. Jacob Mo Moberg. Danny Barnes. Andy Coots. And Spencer Lindholm. And uh, Pat's, Pat's what, son. oldest son. Is it Pat's oldest uh, that's son, Matt? That's yes. my understanding. That's Pat's oldest son, Matt yes. Levesque. Yep. Yes. Well, there's such a, why is there such an age difference between him and Louie? I think it was just the the era. Okay. The time they were really wanting right. a kid. Right. And they waited until their life got settled down. Okay. Type thing, you know, got, Pat played his pro hockey, and he found, you know, him and him came back home to where she's from. Yeah. Settled down, got their business, boom, and boom, two kids. That makes sense. Don't sleep on that either. Don't mm -hmm. sleep on that. I mean, Shelby can, and has. <laughs> My understanding, I mean, it was a baby. Is that yes. how that works? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, they're a, just, Go ahead. My opinion, though, I mean, I don't have an opinion on it. They're a great right, team. Right. They're just one you actually have to watch out for. Yeah. Depending on who, who shows up on that kind of thing. I really thought they were going to be in bigger contention last year with that Alex Hudson. Yes. I th he he was a game changer for just uh, when I say game changer for them I say like like the pace yeah you know because it was, it's a fresh set of eyes it's a fresh set of legs like nobody here knew exactly how he played mm -hmm. you know it's just like any, every time Scully comes in yeah you know or like a Jack Healy like you don't know how often they're playing or if they're playing at all right you know you you'll see them every once in a while so it's like okay here's a new a new guy and Alex literally was a new guy made a name for himself. You know, within deck, he's on, a, on a, another D1 team. He played with him in, in uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a great guy. I I played with him a couple of times. Okay. You know, so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, one of my favorite teams. I love seeing the veteran players, so. Yes. Okay. Yeah, go on ahead there, boss. Oh, next team. Yeah. You got to get there. Oh, to take your time. <laughs> next, we got Domino's. Okay. <laughs> Captained by the man himself, Pat. Uh, Jack James. Mac Quinn, Corvin Kiger, 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 Dylan Fillion, Big D, Pat Levesque, Andy Larson, Alex Hudson, Tyler oh. Fleck, and Martin Fillion in goal. Former Mallard. Yep. Two on there again. Oh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> How could I forget? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're blessed with him being here. Right. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do, you, what do you think there? Virtually the same team yeah. as last year. Um, Pat, uh, I'm going to assume Jack's going to be here for the first half of the season. Then he goes back to school. Mm -hmm. That's my only assumption. Mac yeah. looks like he's full time. Corbin's back from he injured his knee and oh, an ACL right. injury. Okay. He kind of played a little bit last year, I believe, a few games. Um, they add Alex Hudson full time, so that's a big get for Pat. Yeah. And he's going to be another half year guy. I'm assuming he's going to go play hockey or in school. Tyler Fleck, I have no idea who that is. Okay, I looked him up yeah. just from the website the other day when Nick posted the Nick posted the uh, first schedule, mm -hmm. and nothing came up. And I was like, okay, 
Okay. Just FYI, juniors, juniors, you got two more days to sign up. You want to sign up your little freaking kids? I mean, if you've like been in your life as a D5 guy all your life, maybe there's a chance your kids might be better. Alexis, will you sign up? No. Okay. <laughs> maybe next year. Right, maybe next year. <laughs> Uh, next team, I'm just going to assume the BD Bandits. It is. Yep. We've got the usual suspects, okay. for the most part. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Plum, Barry Grosh, Mike Womack, Dakota Blackaby, mm -hmm. Parker Hansen, Devin Preto, Aiden Witt mm -hmm. in D1, dang, uh, Jake Freiberger, and then goalies, it says either Zach Freiberger or Joe Dare. It'll probably be Zach. No, I'll be Zach. Okay. Just because yeah. Joe plays goalie yeah. enough yeah. to tap it down. Gotcha. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it makes no zero sense. Yeah, he's, yeah. We'll get to the him. Yeah, I saw him. To the him. His name. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess go ahead. You're the expert. They added Devin full time. Okay. Which I thought they were going to do last season. They should have. He's a great player. Yeah. Skill stick. Aiden. Yeah. You mentioned this in three plus kid that's just like mm -hmm. done this, and I, it has to do. Me being a coach, I could say this: the more you play, mm -hmm. the quicker, the better you get. Mm -hmm. Kids these days, that's all they want to do. Like if something they love and they're passionate about, that's all they, that's all they want to play. Look at Big D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the first few times scorekeeping? It's like nine o'clock on a Tuesday in June. Sure. You have to work tomorrow. Big D's sixteen years old. Yeah. I'm gonna stay and shoot. No, D, we're locking it up. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and he'll, and then eventually got to a point where he's locking it up himself, and he's just standing there shooting and shooting. Mm -hmm. Aiden, even with all of his health problems, which I I hope and pray, you know, he's doing better. Mm -hmm. Um, there was times where he was playing from four o'clock to ten o'clock on a Sunday. Yeah, I've watched him do that. In just June game and July. Game. Yeah. yeah, like I've done it one time. Yeah, I played four games. I'm like, I can't do this. Right. You know, must be nice being 15 years old again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, but it's it's a it's a sense of he he played more, he got better, and he's progressing the correct way, and he's maturing at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see it. I saw 100 percent change last year. I seen a yeah. big jump from the first yeah. year he played adults to last season. Yeah. His attitude and his his respectfulness and just how much he's matured. Right. You know, he's not a asshole, grunty little kid right. that's gonna you know try to dangle around you like he's being a full full-blown teammate and you know he's maturing on his own you know granted his parents would do great with him you know but at the same time in hockey while you're out there your parents can't help you sure you know so you gotta mature on your own and that's what helps is there's certain people who are around you your role models mm -hmm. you know and i know he's got good role models when he's out there and you know he listens and that's mm -hmm. very hard for kids to do yeah nowadays i hear that it is just it's just the listening <laughs> portion <laughs> right <laughs> Oh, cool, man. Yeah. Glad the bandits are back, of course. So, yep. hopefully, everyone's there for the majority of the game. That, so yeah, that was the whole of time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Are we ready for that dynasty team? Yes. The crew. There we go. Going for a quiet three P for sure. Just a quiet one. Just a quiet, quiet one. one. <laughs> how's, this, uh, how's this work? Do you guys just get the cup now? or? Well,. Do you want me no. to go grab it? Is the, the, first two line, the, first, <laughs> the first two lines. The first two lines do. Okay. Me and Micklewright and Dalby are third line goons. Uh, like, we have to wait till the end of the year, like, uh, after we officially win it. Ah, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Even though Micklewright and I are considered veterans now, yeah, we're yeah. in a few seasons. All right. We're still the rookies. Uh, okay. But don't tell me. I definitely will not tell him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got Nick Swisher. Cole Griffin, Devin Albee, I always say it wrong, <laughs> Austin Whelan, Scott Delby, Zach McElwright, Bobby Cassatt, Nicola Levesque, and Sam Nelson and goal. So are there any changes? Nope, everybody came back. Makes sense. <laughs> nope. right. I was going to be the only, honestly, I was going to be the only one to maybe not play. <laughs> okay. I kind of was questioning if I'm going to play like a half a season or play when I want to, kind of cut back. And yeah. it's like, nope, I'm probably going to end up playing every game. So, but yeah, we're we're sitting at eight. I don't know if we're going to find nine because, yeah. I'm, what do we call him? Iron Man? Yeah. No, the Terminator. Granchick. 
Oh, 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 my, my boy, mm -hmm. yeah. Bronny, mm. Bronny left. He moved away, so we'll mm. lose our nine, mm. uh, our nine guy. So okay. hopefully, maybe Nick's searching right now, or yeah. throughout the season, he finds us a, a ninth guy. Sure, to rotate in. So yeah, I'm sure gonna miss Bradley. Guy like, treat me well. He's He's awesome one guy. day. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't hold a grudge. <laughs> I, yeah, I. Man, I don't know how you guys can be stopped. I know, like, Donald's pick up Hudson's huge. Has there been any thought at the d line level of, like, trying to shake these teams up? Like, even doing, like, a draft? Or is it just more, like, you guys want to play with each other? Like, screw you guys. Does that make any sense? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because there's only four teams. I, I I think it's just everyone gets so comfortable playing with certain sure. people. Yeah. You know? And then, like, come summer tournament time or, like, a tournament. Like, basically summer tournament. Then all those heavy hitters you know they join together yeah. you know i've made a suggestion randomly just com how we do it in three plus now where it's technically d2 and three plus yeah is you add d1 and two plus together you know but then you lose another league and people can't play on you know, like nick and pat or like swisher bobby and perry like guys that want to play more yeah they can't play on two teams for that reason oh that right you know, in the right. same sense it's like okay do you move the amount of rank guy. You know, this is just me speaking. Yeah. This has nothing to do with Nick and no, I, Nick yeah. and how he does his ranking system. Right. No. Yeah. Is you take away so you, each team only has one or sorry two two plus or sorry two one plus players mm. per team. So then it's forcing so that'd be technically four guys mm -hmm. per team or for, you know then that's technically two more teams you could add if you really think about it. So we're going from four to six. Oh. So they have one. Two yeah. one plus guys on your team, right? You yeah, know, but right. yeah, just yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. I think eventually, with all the younger kids coming, like Nolan and Quack, yeah, and that Spartan team, or like the younger the young kid, yeah. Corcoran, yeah, um, the yeah. other Quack, like all those kids. Right. I think eventually, like once, like the Duck, Duck City guys start, you know, getting older and they don't want to play, you know, sure. like that eventually comes evolves. Yeah. And that's another team or another two teams depending on how many kids play. And Kramer makes a team. Yeah. Stone comes back home and makes a team. Sure. Abercorn, you know, things like that. You, you, usually, you just never know, but like, it'd be, I think it'd be too tough right now. Right. Okay. Yeah, I was just curious having your thoughts, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, D1, always oh, fun to watch. Mm -hmm. What prevents the average uh, person I'll say like Joe Timson. What prevents like him from playing D one? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, what's what's the difference? I guess between you see D one D three. Um, pace, pace. Okay, pace, and I will say, pace. The timing. Yeah. And you could almost say vision. Okay. So like the pace is obviously tenfold. Right. You know, it's just, it, it, it's it, it's the jump even now from three to three plus. Mm -hmm. There is a different pace, and then you jump from D three to D one. Yeah, it's like full on. Right. You know, and then the speed of things, it's like D one. You get more time. Like me having zero hockey experience, like I'm one of like four people. I want to say maybe even three yeah. that play D one have absolutely zero mm -hmm. hockey experience. Right. Some every now and then, if somebody will rush, I can say this: somebody will rush me, and it makes me have to think like now, to where like if I'm gonna go play against Pat, yeah, I've watched him play a million times. Right. Right. I know his tendencies, but I also give him time because I know if I think what he's going to do, I'm getting burned the other direction. Where in D three, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go crowd you right now. Sure. You know, and then the vision thing is, I don't know if you ever watch Pat or Nick like individually themselves, or even like Swisher. Mm -hmm. Perry does it too, and Darren McMillan is very good at this. Okay. And Scott Smith, because something could be happening over here. Yeah. But out of their peripheral, they see something developing. Gotcha. And you're staring at their eyes. Right. Right. Yeah. And they're looking. They're getting off over here, and then boom, it's over this direction. Uh, okay. Or in D three or three plus, and it's like especially like three plus. Yeah. You're not gonna get somebody to like do that. Sure. You're not gonna look. You you see one eye, like okay, Mark's over there in that corner wide open. Yeah. I'm gonna pass it to him quick. Right. Well, I also don't see a guy coming right off the bench to intercept. Boom, breakaway. Yeah. I see if I just move this way more, does this defender come over right. and pop open or like a little backdoor type thing? Sure. It's just it's one. It's 
It's, yeah. it, that's that vision portion. Gotcha. You know, because you got former pro player, but kid, kids that have played ice the whole time. Mm -hmm. whole life. Right. So, right. Yeah. so that's that's the big difference. I feel just from playing, you know, at that high level. Yeah. And then sure. playing low weight, let's say in the same night. Yeah. It's a world of difference. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Probably almost kind of throws you off a bit, right? Because the timing is mm -hmm. different if you play a couple games the same night. I I would prefer to play. <laughs> A lower level before a higher level. Yeah, okay. Right. You know, type thing. Because, one, I'm a role player on the lower levels. Like, I, like I'm the, I'm one of the higher players that needs to score or, mm -hmm. like, develop things. So, we're yeah. in a higher level. Yeah. You know, I'm a role player. But I also get a little bit more time. I'm not feeling as much. Sure. You know, type thing. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, Courtney, how we doing? Are you good? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. You want to roll right into two plus? You I'm down. Break? No, I'm all good. Right, all right, man. I'm down to go. All right, all right. Big, big rolling. Big voice guy. Excuse me for a minute. Go I got to stretch my legs, man. I'm yeah, getting old. Go getting old. I'll, I'll yeah, I got to shake them off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, before. If, when you guys are up like 40 points, like the last game of the season for the crew... Like, could I play a game for, like, Make-A-Wish Foundation or something, like, for in the crew? Um, Nick, I have a question for you, yeah. if you're watching this. Um, my fr okay. Uh, <laughs> Pat, maybe? Yeah. Pat, maybe, or Perry? Yeah. Um, my friend, Mark, who's out stretching his legs right now, yeah. um, he would like to play a game for any D1 team possible. Yeah. Right. The, the last game of the year, possibly, even yeah. if it's a close race or big point spread, just make his wish come true. He's a great guy. Yeah. Much Thank appreciated. Heads, what, heads up so the wife couldn't videotape Yes, that. please let yeah. his wife know first so it could be a surprise. <laughs> I'm coming for you, D1. <laughs> <laughs> Two plus. Last season, the dailies whipped out Big Bertha as it was anything but tropical for the QC Tropics. Will it be a repeat for Nick Necker and crew? Or will it end up going sour for power and team? Thank you again, big voice guy. Yes, thank you. Welcome thank back, you. Mark. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank Welcome you. Back. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to your own show. <laughs> Great to be here. <laughs> uh, what do we got there? Five teams there? Yep. All right. Wheel them out, I guess. Okay. Does anyone in particular need to be last? Uh, I would say the <coughs> factory... Mafia, Yetis, Dailies, Coffee House. In order of how they finished last year. Wait, Factory, Mafia, So there's four, four, five, three, two, one. Four, five, three, two, one. Okay, gotcha. Actually, no. Four, four, five, three. One, two? One, two, yeah. I forgot, Dailies, one, not Coffee House. Okay. <laughs> so then we will start with Factory of Fear. About time for Tootsie's Bunnies to gang rape some people. Mm -hmm. Out at the factory of fear, just FYI. You're welcome, Perry. Go ahead. Oh, the Easter, yeah. Yeah. All right, we got Nick Swisher, Perry Jacobs, Cole Neese, Jake Culver, PJ Collins, Danny Barnes, Vic Almgren, Brennan Keith, and a sub, Zach McElright. Oh, and mm -hmm. then in goal, Zach Freiberger or Sam Nelson sub. Mm. That's a lot of people. It is. Well, no. Were you on this team last year? Yes, I was. Okay. This is the team I dropped to join okay. the courses in day three. Okay. <clears throat> Danny Barnes is... Everybody's virtually the same, minus myself. Mm -hmm. Sam Nelson looks like he's a sub, question mark. I don't know what happened there. Mm -hmm. Nickel Wright's a sub. You know, he's a dad now. Oh, yeah. He's a big dad now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He's playing... He'll still play his two teams, but he'll play every now and then for factory. Brendan Keith's back full time, I see. And then Danny Barnes is back. His cool niece back from his injury from ice. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, yeah, bad. I did do that too. Yeah. And I added sure. Fry in that. That's a, yeah. a good team. Yeah, for sure. Can't lie there. Yeah. Because they got rid of me. <laughs> I was holding I back. I don't think so. I was holding back. I don't think you're holding back. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to learn to double shift a Perry, though. 
Two Man Vidor. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the best of you though. Okay. <laughs> we got there. You go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you guys were done. Oh, okay, next we got Irish Mafia D2. Plus. Great uniform. Um, Shackleford is the supervisor, but not yeah. on the team. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's permit coach now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I think he's officially retired from the higher levels because he's old with bad news. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's why I'm officially retired from D1 and 2 plus as well. I'm getting there. At a young age, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do that before thirty. I got three years left. <laughs> All right, we got Aiden Witt, Barry Grosh, Darren Pierce, 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 Pierce Yep, yep. Derek Rotz, Eric Mock, P. Parker Hansen, Sean Clark, Michael Holst, Mike Womack. Do you know Mike Womack has a sister that plays Shelby? Yeah. Much better than he is. Just mention it. Go ahead. <laughs> um, then Brian Kozak sub. So. It does not list a goalie. Oh, uh, Womack. Okay. Womack will be their goalie. Okay. Would be my only assumption. Unless Sean Clark steps in. Yeah. No, it can't happen. No, it is, but it is Womack. Okay. That's virtually the same team, right? Yep. Up top, looks, man. Looks like Kozak's going to be a sub, I'm assuming, because of the police force mm. over in Little Rock Island County. Sure. Uh, added Mr. Holst. I know he subbed quite a bit for him last year. Glad to see he's back yeah. playing high level again. Right, right. But a lot yeah, of people just... get you too confused. I know. I do not. But a lot of people do. <laughs> One time he even called me Holst. What? Yeah. So, uh, honest to God, he like straight face, he's like, Holst. <laughs> now, there might have been a few Miller Lights in his system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like... What? Oh my gosh. That's good. Fun team. They're fun team to watch. I love why Isn't the Parker and Barry on the same yeah. line? That's I watched amazing. them win a game with four guys and the other team on a full bench. Damn. Oh my gosh. Damn. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Patience is key. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What's next, Coco Beans? Uh, DC Yetis 2 Plus. Ooh. I think this was the. The Tropics? Yeah, yeah the yeah, Tropics yeah, from uh, last okay. year. Okay. Hmm, okay. With a full sponsorship. Yeah, the, the, the Yetis have uh, made their way. They have? Up the ranks right now. That's, you know, I like that. I like, because they were doing it early, like last year, uh, what's his nuts name? Wyatt and Brian, they were both playing two plus at the end yeah. of the year. I mean, yeah, it was, you can't. It's not their problem they were ranked where they were at, but they didn't have a problem playing up. No, and they did a, I know. They, they were killing it. They did a good job because you got two guys that play lower levels, and again, yeah. the timing deal, yeah. where they just run and run and run, yeah. and they're in their face, so you're like having a guy like myself or like even a Scott Dalby or an Austin Hoots like think like now, yeah. like boom, I have to think like right now because they're like in their face now. They're like they're just, you could say following a ball, the ball. But they're also just right on your tail the whole time. Yeah. And I think they honestly benefited when they went down to lower levels. Oh. You know, people obviously people are complaining. Yeah. Why are you playing too close? Yeah. You know, why are you playing out here? Yeah. You know, sorry, my ranks are Yeah, up. right, right. You know, somebody yeah. say somebody randomly asked me to play four plus this year. Will I do it? Yeah. If it, they can fit a three plus guy. Right. right. But me, 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 I probably won't do it. Yeah. And my thing is, if you're concerned about them, put a stick up their ass during the game. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, instead of them getting three or four points, yeah, hold them to one or two. Basically, I mean, I don't want to be rude. It's yeah. just be better. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go ahead, uh, lay out the purple team that you love with all your heart. <laughs> Paul Leathers. Ooh, Jake shit. Freiberger. Oh, my Lord. Scott Dalby. Ooh. Sean McMillan. Dev and Preto. Isaiah Conrad, Bobby Cassette, Brian Larson, Josh. Let's see if I can do this. Massachusetts. Yeah, I got it. We'll say that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, Pat's oldest son, Matt. Mm. <laughs> it looks like the same team besides old Hooter Scooter. <laughs> Hooter Scooter. Hooter Scooter. Who's that? Austin Hoots. Oh. <laughs> old Hooter Boy. That's funny. Shout out to Hoots and the boys up at Iowa State University. They were trashers. What, they finished second in the rec yeah. league up there? They nice? I don't know. Let's go ahead and say they were second. Shout out to all of you out there. Habercorn. Yeah. 
I know that they were in the, the second league yeah. and they got bumped up to the first mm -hmm. league because they really? were too yeah. good. Yeah. Wow, okay. not bad, boys. Not yeah. bad. They represented. Well, this team was good last year. They looked great this year. Yeah, they had a little bit of a mix. So actually, I I was wrong. They played the tro the Tropics played the dailies, if I'm correct. In the championship. Yeah, yeah. That's and what I'm showing. That's what Big Voice guy had. Yeah. That's my fault. Yeah. It's okay. a mishap. But that game, that series was great. They had a great team. Some mishaps happened, yeah. you know, outside the bench. But yeah. um, they added Paul Weathers. I think people are going to be pleased that he's finally out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the secret's finally out of it. Boy, I hope they don't blame me. But, yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> the guy still deserved his due. He was killing it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple playoff games. I think he had seven goals in one game there. I remember one playoff game yeah. when they got bumped to the loser side. Their first game, yeah. it was like, paw, paw, paw. Yeah, right. And by one, like, it didn't even look like he was trying. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. But hopefully this year, in in two plus, like, he, it, he, I mean, he probably will is show the same skill you're going to have in D3. Sure. You know, type thing. Yeah, definitely. But then, Josh, what do you, how do you say it? Macy Massachusetts. Huh. I don't know. That's Macy is, 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 is that Josh really to Casey? That's, that's what I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. That's, it looks like a fresh face right. if I click on the profile. Because Casey plays ice at a high level. I'm just, just going to say this guy's a high level ice player. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show it out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh. It's got to be like a brother cool. or something. You don't hear a name like that very often. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm glad to see the Yetis expanding too, mm -hmm. up to the higher leagues. You know, a lot of our franchises either stay high or stay low. You know, I like to see my gap there, and still have a lot of different subs they can play out throughout the levels too. So yeah. get some, you know, new, work that way. They're still not the greatest farm team. <laughs> they're, good, they're getting there. They sure are getting there. <laughs> Well, we got any more? I lost count. Uh, yeah, there's two more. Okay. Next, we have the Coffee Hound. Uh-huh. And we have Adam Frederick, Mac Quinn, Dylan Villion, Pat Levesque, Briar Wilson, Liam Quinn, Jake Larson, Austin Bush, and again, Martin Fillion in goal. It's kind of funny they put Martin, not Marty. <laughs> Fart and money. I look like the same team again. Okay. Adding Jake Larson. The name looks familiar, but I, I don't. What's the one Jake kid's name that played on disc replay? Yeah, I don't. Try, yeah. I thought that's, that was him. That's yeah. I think it is him. Is that him? I mean, he's got to be harder than deep. Oh, no, Jake, that's Andy's. This is Andy's brother. Oh, Andy's okay, brother. yeah. There we go. There yeah, we go. yeah there that's go. right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this kid, yeah, he's a lefty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays goalie. Yeah. He's a goalie, okay. I think. Okay. okay. And then Austin, Austin Bush, when I, first, when I first started coming around, he was playing with a, with my buddy Blake. Uh, oh. So okay. I think I'm I, I'm assuming that's the same guy, but. Right. Good, good, good player. Okay. Could see you like that. That's the same team. Okay. Good. It was last year. Yeah. Do you ever go to the Hound, Courtney, or you stay over the the apothecary land? I favor the uh, apothecary. Okay. <laughs> I can't just pronounce it. Coffee Hound sucks. Is the apothe what is the apothecary? That's the one Lindsay owns. Uh, oh, apothecary. it's a coffee place. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought it was like some sort of like pharmacy. Pharmacy or like, oh, it's like a pharmacy or like a drink themed. or like. Mm. No, it's like a pharmacy themed coffee place. A drinking, thing, a drinking thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. And last but not least. Um oh. Hold on. The champs are back. Dailies. Alright. We've got Nick Levesque, Ryan Plum, Cole Griffin, Brian Bush, uh Justin Hauer, yeah. Colin Karstens, Nolan Fillion, Aaron Wilson, and Aaron Ingram and Goal. It's the exact same team as last season. Hmm. Seen a team there with the championship teams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to keep everybody the same. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to. It won't let me go back to last season, but I can't. Oh, okay. And who? I swear they had a night. 
Dylan Ruiz. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. And I did see his name somewhere on another. Yeah, we were talking about. Oh something. yeah, three plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You must have my three plus preview. I remember now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Good team there. Yeah. Again, right. I mean, Nick builds it properly. I mean, yeah. You win a championship team. Obviously, your first goal is to bring everybody back. Yeah. Ninety-five percent of the team came back, and right. And maybe they find somebody throughout the season. Maybe they don't. And they roll with a short bench like Nick loves to do. Yeah. 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 It's a system. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What do you yeah. think of that system? It it plays its due diligence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it yeah. has its moments where. You hate it, but yeah. at the same time, in retrospect, you look at it, you think about it, you're like, he knows what he's doing. Right, you know, right. he, he, he gets it, you know. Yeah. That's why, <laughs> at the end of the playoffs, at the end of the year last year, me and Mikkel and Dalby were like, you know, we're, we're, like, we're a good line. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're like the filler line, but right. you play those higher levels, you're a lower scope guy, you're almost just like a grinder out there. Sure. Like a rescue, you go, you go 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds hard. To get your top guy, your top four guys, you know, or six guys, a, a break, you know, it's understandable. You right. know, play those higher levels, like a lower skilled guy, you know. Yeah. I mean, heck, even, even like our first line is, in D one is Nick, Bobby, and yeah. we'll probably be Swisher. Yeah. You know, like, but the next line is Whelan, Cole, and somebody else. Those guys are just as valuable mm -hmm. as the as the first three. Sure. You know, it just yeah. his system works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you can't argue it. Yeah, look at his. Look, he, he, he's the role. I watched the the um, off the air over the pond or in the air, whatever that podcast. Yeah, I guess to still watch that. Yeah, it's 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 good. Yeah, no, I, yeah. But like Pat yeah. said, Nick is a is a great leader. He's a great yeah. role model. He's a coach. He knows the game. Right. He under, like he's built. Look how many wonderful. We're not wonderful. How many winning championship? Yeah. Nick has teams. He's right. Right. You know, and how he coaches. He coached. Team USA. I don't know if he. I don't think did they. I don't know if they meddled. I don't think they did. Yeah. The year he broke his hand. Oh right. You right. know, but still, just his, his right. knowledge of the game and how much like. Yeah. It's understandable. It's ridiculous, but. So what's Pat doing wrong then? Not listening. Okay. Not listening. Pat's the. Pat's the playmaker. Mm -hmm. In that situation yeah. where. He doesn't. He needs a. You, you see it differently. You, you, you do see it differently. Like, yeah. you, because you score kept D1 games at the tournament, mm -hmm. right? Summer yeah. Tournament. yeah. If you look at when Pat plays regular tournament, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not knacking on Pat, I'm not knacking on anybody. Yeah. But you look at somebody like Pat where you come regular season. Yeah. And they're the, they're the leader, obviously, because they're the best one on the team. All right. Then you go to like a summer tournament where Nick is. And Nick and the other eight players on your team are mm -hmm. the same skill set as you, mm -hmm. the same level of play. But you put in Nick into the leader role, Pat's like, okay, this is the guy I have to listen to. You know, Swisher and and uh, Blake. Yeah. You know, and even Branch. It. You know, right. like this is all, and even Darren. Mm -hmm. You know, Darren played with him. Sure. This is our coach, but he's also our teammate. Sure. And right. what he's saying, it works, and it shows. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you fail sometimes, right. but. The other nine tries out of ten, you're succeeding. Yeah. You know, people just, it, you got to buy in. Sure. You know, type things. And it's yeah. hard to do in the lower levels because everyone is a fan of the sport. Yeah. They're a me player. Yeah. And they don't understand the actual aspect of a, like a, a true team. Right. Like deal. You sure. Know? Like some, sure. at the end of the day, sure. even if you win, yeah. somebody on within your team they're blaming somebody. Sure. Lose. Does yeah. not matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. 100%. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That was it for D2 Plus, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who are you? I'll throw this one at you. Yeah. Who are you going to pick in D1 to win? Because I didn't pick Crew last year, I don't think, to win. Well, I saw someone on another podcast pick the Eddies. And they're not in D1, so I, my pick should be better than that. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I still don't, yeah. I still don't see how you can go against a crew, and I'm not just saying that because you're here. Mm -hmm. It's just the record speaks for itself. Right. I really thought, just score keeping last year, I really thought Doc, Doug City was going to make a run, especially with Hudson. Mm -hmm. So maybe he does with Pat. Cause sometimes I feel like Pat's. Honestly, those roster players are great. Like they're way above my level, but mm -hmm. I feel like what you're talking about, like Pat, 
I think he feels like he can just do it all himself sometimes. You still need to be surrounded with talent. Yeah, he's got like a, you said, your own crew is rolling out saw line after line. Yeah, it's a, it's, some people have a trust issue with certain players. Yeah. You know, and you right. see that with certain guys like me. I, mean, I hate to say me again, but yeah. Nick started trusting me more. Yeah. To not only pass me the ball, but truly like ask me to play on their our so-called top line right. with him because over the time of me playing yeah. you gain trust and I think that's like Pat's thing and even Swisher's thing and mm -hmm. the guy and Bobby the guys that you could tell were like oh well if I got um say Ryan Gomez mm -hmm. playing like they're not gonna truly trust him like if it's like I gotta get the ball because somebody's on me like yeah but like you pass it to somebody who you truly trust. Yeah. You know, type things. So. Right. So who are you, who are you going with Duck City again? No, I'm going with the crew. Crew? Yeah. I want to pick us just because I'm here. Yeah. But I think having Hudson. Yeah, it's big. With Pat. Yeah, it's big. And Big D and Marty and Matt. Yeah. And even having Corbin full time. If yeah, he's going to be full true. time. It's true. I'm going to have to pick Dom. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nick. If you got to yeah. bench me for six games yeah. for going against the team, I. I will. Can you get someone to fill in for those six games? Six games, make a wish. Make a wish. <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> and two plus. Oh, two plus. Where are you going with two plus? <sighs> I hate to put you on the spotlight, but like. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, how do you go against Nick? I guess in two plus is my one thinking. That team's solid. Carstens mm -hmm. and Tower and. Ryan, I'd have to say Daly is again, maybe Yetis. I'm going Yetis. Yeah, yeah. Just because of that, just because of that that fresh team, and I want to help Woody and yeah, and right. Bowie and, right. and Phil and yeah. those guys, you know, boost their head. You know, right? Even I, I, love, yeah. I love those yeah. guys. But like, yeah, it's that you can't really say it's a fresh team because they all played together last year, but like. There's a new name with right. like two plus, so right. and they were they were right there the whole time with dailies and one little mishap happened in the game and it, it, the whole team, yeah. you know, they their their focus left the deck, yeah, or left the game to a situation that was going on, yeah, and and you could tell, you know, yeah. Bobby admitted to it, you know, and even a couple other guys, but I'm 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 saying that I'm gonna say the guys, okay. Yeah, that's hard. When I watch their games, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Bobby Conrad's on the team, right? Yeah. 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 Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah. Dolby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, do you have time for three or no? Or do you... You're at 47 minutes. You know, take it's up break. to you. It's your call. I'm leaving it up to you. All right. Want. Do you need to take a piss break? Or no, good? I'm good. All right. All right. Let's hammer out D3 then. There's like five teams. Okay. How are we doing? Are we, yeah, we're good up there? 47, okay. 48 minutes. Yeah, boy. What are we doing? Uh, for stretch period for you, Mark? Yeah, thank okay. you for offering. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. I'll, I'll do the fashionable uh, kick. D3, yeah. There's five teams. I got to get with big. The announcer? Yeah, announcer. Yeah. 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 Last season, USA won the cup going away, not just Hathaway. <laughs> These dad jokes are great. Will they repeat yet again, or will another team wrestle away the cup from them? Ooh. I know. Very good. You won't find big voice guy on any other podcast. Just saying. Great job again, sir. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Great, great job. Got to be here the rest of the week, and then we can take off to summer training. Got out. <laughs> just send him away for a paid vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long paid <laughs> something vacation. Tro something yeah. tropical. Yeah, right. Oh, let's see, yeah, you can start, obviously, say the grand team for last. You know who that is, Coco. Mm -hmm. What? Yetis? You should go ahead. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So Yetis, Yetis D3. First. This is, they weren't in D3 last year either, so this is yeah. a four rain in D3. Oh, they're Yetis. Okay. Yeah. We got Brian Larson, Steve Dolby, Scott Dolby. Mm -hmm. Dakota Blackaby. In Chase, goal, I think. Yes. Chase DeYoung, Joe Timpson, Brenton Stropes, TJ Finch, uh, Jake Schultz, and Wyatt Price. Uh-oh. 
Are we in trouble, Mr. Chef? <laughs> <laughs> I had one wish I would time travel back to October or September yeah. and make sure the Mighty Dex one is good. Right, 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 right. Wasn't that just like a sh shocker? Like, they, they just improved throughout the year. And oh, man. That was crazy. Gosh. It's a great roster. It was a really great roster. Yeah. I, I don't know. The Chase, who did Chase play with? Did he play with Scuff on that? Yeah, that one fire. red team. Yeah, Tri City Fire, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a good kid. I like him. Yeah. yeah. Good to see Mr. Uh, Scott's yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. Playing. I've been playing down with him at Buffalo, man. Oh, yeah, yeah he's, yeah. he's, st he'll stay, he'll stay on your ass. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you had Brenton and, yeah. And TJ. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's, it's a good thing to see. And, I mean, it's a bad thing. <laughs> right, for us. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the the lower level guys that have had you know they played the winter classic with like I want to say plastic sticks you know they all drove from Alito yeah you know and then they make their own team right. they didn't have a team name yeah they get jerseys you know then they go win a championship yeah. you know you yeah. see them approving because they enjoy it you know they, I've seen them watch a lot like, yeah summer tournament like they were just in their tent their walk or I wouldn't know that was something winter classic but yeah we're sure they were too yeah 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 they, you know they had their tenant the defense but like they're like they're consistently watching but seeing new faces and like in higher levels now mm -hmm. that are like lower mm -hmm. you know it's 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 awesome it's it's yeah you're this this sport yeah. you know obviously this hobby is is growing because you're there's new faces in every yeah in i love every, it yeah and i love know. seeing the enthusiasm yeah like pains and Paint bazaars and enthusiasm just like through the roof of the sport. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah, they're that isn't that their four plus team practically? Brian yeah, Schultz and Wyatt and then Dakota. I really haven't looked. I was gonna say yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I wanna say that was their four plus team last year. I don't know, I'll have to beat up on Wyatt in the corner. Yeah. So what it's like they're yeah. all with the big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to his kid today yes. though. Aww. Even though you were gonna beat up your daddy, I think his name's Brecken. Brecken, uh, yeah. yeah. So Brecken, go Bears. He's go Bears. Go Chiefs. It's the cutest thing ever. Aww. It's so cute. Yeah. What right. we got next? All right, we've got another round distribution. Heard of them? Heard of them? Yep. Uh, Brett Goodmanson. Mm -hmm. Matt Johnson. Former Bender. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> they gotta go somewhere. <laughs> Straight Mike in. Ernst. Trashman. <laughs> What's that? Mike Ernst. Oh, oh, He's shit. Back. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, David Budd. Yeah. The, what, owner of Another Round Distribution? Mr. Ricky McDermott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. CJ Coles. Uh -huh. Paul Leathers. Ooh. Nick Makovic. Yep. And Mitch Seifert. Yep. With Matt Butner and Goal. Another team that sticks together because they're a bunch of buddies. I know, a bunch of buddies. And they sandbag. <laughs> they stay together. They, yeah, they do, but it, yeah, I mean, yeah. Right, I, well, I, I play my I like ball these ball. guys, yeah. <laughs> I do. They're that one team that you hate playing Yeah, against, oh yeah. But you, I mean, you, you, you can go hang out with them literally right, out here. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Like you, got, you got Ricky, who is six foot five, yeah. in a shit brick house, but he's a teddy bear. Yeah. You know, and you got CJ, who's Mighty Mouse, <laughs> I call him. Yeah. You know, he can be an ass while he's out there, but after the fact, he don't care. Yeah, he's right, just there. Right. You know, but. Yeah. Mike Ernst is, I think, is where he was Yeah, he sucked. Him. Yeah, no, no, he got to sub with us a couple times last year in 4 Plus when we started. Mitch brought him back, and fortunately, he must have got the bug. Lay it on me, what's next? All right, we got USA. The champs are back. God, I know they've probably pissed at me because I didn't talk about much last year. They like won that championship game with like four players. Yeah. And, and without Casper, was not even there. Yeah. Oh, again this year. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. How can you bail on your own team, Caspers? Yeah. <laughs> I know they win you a cup. Come on. Yeah. All right, we got Tim Foster, Chris Caspers, Kyle Mock, Matt Franson, Matt Ressler. Jarrett Harvey, Travis Boyle, and Brandon Evans in goal. So Hathaway is gone. Yep. Excuse me? <laughs> Looks like Jarrett Harvey's full-time. I remember him playing with the Eagles. Remember the Smith brothers? 
Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then uh, Tim Foster, I must be a buddy of Casper's, I'm assuming, or somebody's. I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to talk about a guy who didn't look very good in that? But there's a season one I got yeah, really good. Yeah, get better, Zach. <laughs> Brandon Evans. Yeah, right. Yeah. And he is a needle in a haystack, we'll say. Okay, all right. Kind of player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I look stoked even without, yeah, Brandon Gunn. The, the good things for them, they're a physical damn team, big. Mm -hmm. It's a Casper's built team. Yeah, yeah. It's always a team full of Casper's yeah. besides Boyle. He's soft. <laughs> soft, but a good tipper. Yeah. He, he's a good tipper. Did you, did you, did you deliver to him? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was most pissed he tipped me well because I wanted to just rag on him. Like, <laughs> 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 Maybe yeah, I can yeah. <laughs> next time. Right, right. Uh, yeah. All right. What's next? Uh, Waterloo Deck Noids. Okay. Good to see there's yeah it's still wanting to play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Um, Shelton Davis, Mike Davis, Jacob McBride, Jacob Reagan, Evan Watts, Dalton Hagabo. Hale Buchan, Carter Buchan, Tony Nielsen, and Taylor Payne in goal. So that's the same as last year, right? Pretty much, yeah. Because then Watts is going to play full time. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm trying to think. There's one guy that's. Yeah. I, I think he's going to play show. <laughs> Yeah. No, he can. Yeah. Um, I, man, Waterloo. <laughs> Bring your lunch pail, man. <laughs> when they're at full strength, they're yeah. tough. <laughs> Taylor Payne's a very good goal. He was already yeah. in, in the Winter Classic. Oh, okay. Dalton's a very good player, too. I don't know. I, obviously, we don't have him from here. Yeah. He's a good player. Mm -hmm. Tony, I don't know if it's the same guy I'm thinking of. But other than that, I don't know anybody that's a come uh, final game day to me. I don't know if you've... The Buchan boys can play. Those are the twins? Yeah. Yeah, and they like to talk a little bit. So if you like to have a like, conversation, oh. like pregame, postgame, in between periods, um, during during the game, in between balls, or like after just the, yeah, yeah, they like to let you know. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it went like this at first, yeah. and then we came back, yeah. and now we're now yeah, picking right. up with you. Okay, thank you. I'm took you a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, we're good to go. Yeah. We're good now. We're good. We're all here. We're back. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> but yeah, no, it is cool. They're, yeah, I mean, that's a long ass drive. Yeah. That's, that's, I appreciate them doing that. I'm going to reiterate on Courtney's comment the other day. Okay. Oh, it's all Friday games. So it looks like they're going to do the double headers on Fridays. Okay. Do the six and eight or seven and nine. And, but hey, I still give them credit, willing to drive down here. Yeah. Or yeah. an hour and a half. Oh, it's two hours. Two hours, two hours. Yeah. yeah. You know, then you 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 drive. You sit in a car for two hours. You play a game. And you sit for an hour. Play a game. Then you sit for another two. Yeah. That's a long night. Yeah. 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 Right. And getting home late. Yeah. Right. Like early yeah. morning. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad they do. It's refreshing to play different people. Yeah. So. What's next? Quad City Trash. Yeah, we're talking. Bang the fucking drum. Yep. 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 <laughs> Can we cue that in real yeah, quick? Yeah, right. <laughs> bang on a drum one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got Brendan Smith. Go slow, Jimmy. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, I, I love Brendan. I'm sorry. And he's more than just a shot. You know what? I, I'm going to, real quick with Brendan. Yeah. You know how all you guys got your signings? Uh oh. You signed your contracts throughout the year? You didn't get one. I you never did. officially Aww. signed a contract yet. You're not officially on the team. And I'm then. officially on the team, so I can't play the first game yet. Oh, I'll make sure you play the first game. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I don't know. He got going and then he, like, stopped. So Cause we were like, gonna, I, I, I said yeah. something to him about it, joking. Yeah. You know, like, we're going to make like a big announcement, like me or Sellers playing, because like, we're new guys and like, we'll be able to play higher up. He's like, yeah, we can. Yeah. And then I seen he signed. It was like Jake and somebody else in D five, and yeah. I was like, okay, never mind. Right. Yeah. So now, we're, now, I can't officially play the first game until I sign a contract. And there has to be photographic evidence. Yep. We'll take care of that. This week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. All right. So Brendan Smith. Yeah. 
Devin Albee. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, yeah. For me personally, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's been a long time since mm -hmm. we've been full time teammates. I'm just, I'm, I'm so pumped. excited. I'm so excited. I've never like, I'm, I can say this. I've never truly been like, ex like, yeah. Like I'm actually like pumped to play because I get to play with you, but I'm playing down on a level where like, truly everybody has fun. Like yeah, it's still competitive, but like, it's fun still. Yeah, right. You know, it's right. like that. It's that fine line between like, there's the I care too much. Mm -hmm. players the, the the ones that don't and then you got the mediocre where it's like yeah i want to be competitive you know like how you and i are yeah. but at the same time it's just it's just another game right you yeah. know type thing. that's what i love so i'm i'm really looking forward to this great man i'm pumped I'm glad to have you i should have made you two last yeah alex sellers i'm so jacked <laughs> i brought him with i know i brought him with god man yeah what a great shot a great teammate i've never had an issue with him ever mm -hmm. And you just start with sellers. You probably won't watch this, but this goes for everybody oh. else out there. Wear a nut cup if you're not going to put your hand over your McJewels. All right. All right. Okay. I always laugh when you guys do that. I love his line. It was <laughs> one of the playoff games. <laughs> someone, or it was, my, it was a couple years ago, Mahoney was on, uh, someone with us. And Mahoney's like, oh man, we're all playing great defense. And Sellers goes, oh well, yeah, it's the playoffs. We're actually going to try to play defense. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. All right, next we have Ryan Gomez. He's going to say he's not worth that three plus ranking. He's worth it. He's bit well, well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah. yeah. I, I know for a fact he had an offer for a two plus team and he turned it down. Oh, yeah. So. Don't tell me that. Don't play that humble game with me, Ryan Gomez. You played it down. Yeah. Wow. I think it was the play with us, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we'll say. Yeah, that's what we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris Rungi. Yeah, man. I I like Chris Rungi. Mm, he's gritty. Yeah, he's gritty he's for that, sure, yeah. Yeah, and a great teammate, man. I, that's our Mighty Mouse this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Great shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Wade Watson. Yeah. yeah. Another he, great corner guy. Right. Gritty. He, he, did he play with you guys in the last year? In the he did. He just, because of his work schedule, hopefully it's better this year. He missed quite a few games. Mm -hmm. But when he did, man, what he had made some great contributions. That's what I'm saying. At this level, for sure, in D3, he can be a leader like you. Mm -hmm. Take that game and lead us. So mm -hmm. I hope he can make some more games. You know, everybody's got different work schedules and stuff. But, yeah. Matt Kindlesberger. Matt. Oh, I didn't, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't realize Matt was playing with us, too. Oh, okay. The blasted bubbles. The third ones are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is really uh, going to be fun. Right. <laughs> and this is a, honestly a pure react. Like, I honestly did not know who was on my team besides Gomez, Brendan, and Mark. Oh, like, okay. I have, and I, I have, honestly, had really no idea. Okay. Besides that, because like I, had, Brendan's like, if you want to play, try to bring a seller. So I did, yeah. and then to get you to stay yeah. was like another thing. And but like I, hell yeah, let's do hell it. Yeah, that sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's been one season out of the way. We're eleventh season in now that I I didn't get to play with Matt. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm jacked to play with him again. Yeah. Especially after that Banders run last year that didn't go so well. I'm really hoping to finish out of the <laughs> with him this year. He's a class guy. Yep. Obviously Very. fast as hell. Yeah. Yeah, one of the, yeah, so. I love watching him yeah. when he, he starts behind the net. And then he runs yeah. to the other end and he's talking to himself. like He's like trying to chirp to the guy. He's like, oh, can't get it, can't get it, can't get yeah. it. He's just sprinting like yeah. <laughs> doing a yeah. bob and we And I can't help but laugh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he funny. puts him in the spin cycle, they say, in the penalty kill. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite people, obviously. Mm -hmm. He's the other one. You know, so, yeah. Yep. Jacked. Yeah, Jake Dare. Jake. Jake Bruiser. Dare. I know, I know. Or is, yeah. it, is, it, is, it, is it, is it, what's the, what's the guy from... Super Mario Brothers with the turtle shell on the back. And oh, Bowser. Bowser, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Jake there. Yeah. The guy you see in front of the net, he ain't moving. Yeah. 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 Bowser. Jake, you know, you've got to know his wife now. Oh, yeah. They're awesome people. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he took a rank down this year, so. But, man, that dude can play. Mm. It's right in front of the net. I'm, I'm jacked to play. Ball hits him again. in the face. He don't care. He's going for right. it. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's, it's only... Downside to him is his friends with TJ Welsh and 
I'm just kidding. Bucky <laughs> J is a great guy. We love you. <laughs> uh, Nate Whalen. Yeah, that's our goalie. He's our goalie? Yeah, he's our yes. goalie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Another, another needle in the haystack, please. Our, these are needles in the haystack. Right, mm -hmm. right. Our needles in the haystack. I haven't met more people that have a passion for the game than Nate. Like, mm -hmm. he takes it. Like, any little thing, like, after the game, like, I know I should have done this, this, or maybe that. Yeah, he's already correcting himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... And the thing is, it's it's literally just a hobby, but he's correcting himself because he doesn't want to... He, mm -hmm. he cares that much, and there's nine guys in front of him that are helping him out, but he wants to help them out. Right. You know, so he's already thinking... Like where did, where's my mess up at? Like where did that happen? Kind of thing. Yeah. So that's why I, I, I that's why I like one day a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hundred percent Jack to have him and go. It'll be a chance for him to prove himself at the D three level. Like he's already proven himself. Right. Four plus. I'm down. Did he play with you guys a lot in the playoffs? Mm -hmm. Or throughout the season, right? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know he sucked quite a bit. For yeah. Years. I think Joe had a different. Uh, Joe Deere had a pretty difficult work schedule yep. at times. So yeah. Yeah. I'm Jack. Is that it? Nope. Okay. Mike <laughs> McDermott. No, no, that was it. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a great it. one. That was definitely it. <laughs> the guy that yeah. will fake you out so bad your ankles break and we're not even playing basketball. <laughs> I'm actually good at basketball though. That's why I'm sport. That's where that's where it comes in at. Yeah. Oh. You know the whole fake and like look this way and shoot that way? Mm-hmm. Everybody is starting to do it now. Like, I swear people see you do it he, he, and pick it up. He's a trendsetter. Yeah. He's a trend, I'm he not going to lie. Setter. Seriously. Like, if you start wearing, like, swim trunks and... Or not swim trunks. Let's see what the weird outfit would be. <laughs> Say you wear, like, parachute pants or, like, disco pants and Crocs. MC Hammer pants. Yeah, like MC Hammer <laughs> pants, like, zebra print or, like, cheetah print, like, Crocs or something. And start making a trend. Like, people are going to start wearing it. Johnny Fordyce, he loves Crocs, he'll yeah. definitely find a pair of zebra pants. Oh, yeah. Johnny watches us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously jacked. At the end of the last year was just rough on that team, to be honest. We were short players quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We were really missing Scott Dalby, who we had the year prior, and he got ranked up. I could tell you that was a big hit. But I feel like with him coming in, Sellers... That's going to kind of fill that void that we were missing. Leadership-wise, too, you know, Brendan does a good job. He's a quiet leader He's at times. Yep. So, I think, gonna, I think you and I will have to keep him under control of not being a hothead. You know how we can get sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just right, right. And we're only a minute yeah. in this game, dude. Calm down. Right. We got 38 more. Yeah. We'll yeah. be all right. Right. I know. I Again, I'm... Literally looking forward, yeah, so much to playing D three. So my after all this time, I've needed something like just to rejuvenate myself. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, part of it. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah. So yeah, you can't pick us in D three. Well, that's as awesome. much as I want to, because <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, right. But at the same time. Yeah. Seeing another round, yeah. seeing the yet, especially yeah. the yet, so seeing USA, who yeah. are the returning champion with a new right. goalie. Uh, who else am I missing? Waterloo. Waterloo. Yeah. You know, hopefully. That's my issue with Waterloo. Come playoff time, we'll be able to make games because it's yeah. a set schedule no matter what. Yeah. You know, we're not going to change it, so mm -hmm. it is what it is. That's my only issue with Waterloo, and that's not their fault. No, right. it's, it is not yeah, their fault. I'm yeah. giving them the, bit of the credit for yeah. at least driving down here. They're willing right. to play for two hours and drive four right. for two hours of fun. Yeah, you know that's yeah. a that's a damn vacation. Yeah, you know, but they're doing it every week. Mm -hmm. You know, or every other week. So, uh, yeah, I, for me, it's like a virtual tie between another round and um, the Yetis. Be honest. Erst is a big pickup. Very. If Cole Neese is healthy, right? He's on is that team. Mm -hmm. Cole Neese is on that yeah. one. Wait, team? Or am I check. thinking two plus? You're thinking two plus. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's on yeah, the D3 because okay. oh, yeah, he's not rated up. Right. I'm do, I mean, having Dolby's huge for the Yetis, obviously. Yeah. But he's D2 ranked, right? Mm -hmm. So that means yeah. that kind of limits who else they can have. You know what I mean? Right, but then you have another round where it's, it's all the same team, but you have Buner in it. Yeah. Like, we picked right. up Buner in the yeah. bus because of how he, how he plays. I know. Because yeah. when Matt Buner is on... Shh, don't stop him. Nope, good luck. Yeah. And, and you got a division like D3 again where it's literally who, what team is actually going to show up. And that's for everybody. Yeah. yeah, we have a great team. Yeah. yeah have a great team. Yeah. You know, say everybody shows up. Dolby has an off night. 
You, right. uh, Brennan has an off night. Buner has an off night. Um, Brandon Evans has an off night. You know, Taylor right. Payne, Dalton. Whoever, I mean, it's whoever can get the upper hand. Right. Like, D3, there's five great teams. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. It was like that last year. Like, Domino's was the number one seed, and I think they went out 0-2. Yeah. So. And I didn't expect yeah. Domino's yeah. to really uh, to play honestly yeah. to do that well. Right. But D3, I... Yeah. I'll go. I'll go with a USA. Yeah, I I don't know why. I'm, because know. a returning champ. Yeah, and it's a legitimate tie because we can't pick us between Yetis and another round. Yeah, but again, it's it, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna, it's be, gonna be a war every night. Twenty yeah. twenty four games of who what team could yeah. could uh, show who like who shows up and who. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun team to watch this year. It is. It'll be fun. I it's think great whole, competition. Not only our team, but I think the whole, like the whole division. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I what mean, I meant. Like, it's yeah. gonna be like yeah. Look at the names in the division. I know. If this is not your gra grandpa's D three, which would be me, I'm your grandpa. <laughs> like, in my opinion, it's like it's it's D three plus now. Yeah. Like and then D three plus yeah. that you guys talked about the other day was like that's D two now because of the like the ranking the ranking. Right. Right. So like it's and I we said that I said this when we talked last summer. It's the same thing with summer tournament. Every year, the competition gets better and the speed gets better. Mm -hmm. Now, during the season, I don't know how you feel like with four plus and four, and the lower levels that you play in, mm -hmm. where you could tell there's a gradual. You know, you play, you go from D five plus to four plus in the night. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big difference, yeah. but like, where's your difference at? Right. You know, and that's where D three plus and D three are now, as it's back to three plus and and two, in my opinion. So I'm sure. I'm pumped for. Yeah. Yeah, the D three season this year. Absolutely. Uh, real quick, before I get you out of here, I, I know you got better things to do than this. Uh, <laughs> not till Sunday. <laughs> not till Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> How did that conversation go? Getting a new goaltender in three plus there was that difficult at all? No. I, no. Okay. No, that was uh, <laughs> that was a Ryan Plum and I oh, okay. looked as if uh, look mutual look and go. If we're gonna play three plus, we're gonna need a goalie. Okay. Because I love Pat. He's a brother to me. Yeah. The Pat we had at the first half of the season was playoff Pat mm -hmm. for the previous season, but we as a team weren't performing up to his standards. Yeah. Right. He got hurt a few times and really wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. We bring in Beauty. Yeah. Again, Beauty was lights out. I don't think he lost a game for us. Yeah. In the, in the games we were, he kept us in games. <laughs> we won games. You know, for him. So like Pat, sorry. Yeah. See ya. Right. You know, like right. here's the door. <laughs> We're not opening it for you. You gotta barrel through it. Right. Beauty. Yeah. You know, come on in. Sure. You know, and sure. I'm gonna reiterate again real quick, uh, Mike Middleton. Yeah, yeah. He, he is a man for life. Yeah. He won't commit to anybody else. Right. That's you know, yeah. There's been two years now we were we weren't gonna put a three plus or three team together. Yeah. But we we tried to help Mike find a team. Mm-hmm. With, you know, without his knowledge, just so he could you know, right, still play. play yeah. And it almost was like he wasn't going to be comfortable. Sure. Yeah, you play. I get that. Yeah. yeah. Patrick Kane. Yeah. You played 20, you know, 18, 20 years with the Blackhawks. All right. You're going to go to the Rangers for 30 games and maybe the playoffs. Sure. You know, it's going to be weird. Yeah. For a while. And then yeah. all of a sudden, like, oh, hey, we're going to play. We're, we're going to bring you back the next season. Yeah. You know, so. Right. Are they bringing you back? I don't know, I hope. I don't think so. Did you see real quick? Uh, so, yeah. Taves is not good. Yeah. Taves officially right. played his last yeah. his last game. Yeah. The hockey network announced. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. ever? Uh -huh. Oh my god. At least as a Blackhawk, but I'm assuming yeah. forever. Yeah. Well, they took Kane away. Mm hmm. Well, on that note, <laughs> thank you as always. Thank you for You're having me. You're basically my co-host on the show, along with Courtney and so, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me again. Thank yeah. you for having me to your house. Yeah, thank it's you. The pleasure as always. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, When's your first game? Sunday. Did you play Sunday with mine? Six. Six. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to that. We're almost getting there. So well, We are. Yeah. I love how we're playing deck hockey, but it's a baseball schedule. Is, that's how I've said it's just as long as the Major League Baseball season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I'm crossing my fingers, I'm knocking on wood. Yeah. Right now, like after summer tournament, the feeling, the mood up there and the feeling is not like is the season done. 
I don't know if you guys felt oh, it. Oh, I felt 100%. <laughs> it felt that 100%. Like, it was out. like a big black yeah, cloud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, came over deck yeah. and nobody wanted to I be know. There. Like, our first D1 game, yeah. it, like, everyone was sprinting, but it literally yeah. looked and felt like we were Apollo walking. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. because that, by that time of the season, we know who's good and who's yeah. not. Yeah. Especially these leagues that got four or five teams. Like, you know, people are still yeah. butthurt about... A not getting in the tournament or B not yeah. winning the tournament or C right. how poorly they played and yeah. or how got, hot it is or how <laughs> hot it is and please yeah. go back to July when the corn's not as high and there's not as much humidity rising out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> they're from Canada. They don't I know care. they want to. They don't. Wanna, they don't get it. But <laughs> they're doing a great job with it. So I know. But yeah, check out that podcast by the way. Oh, I will. It's, oh, it's, I will. It's a video one, but it's good. I no, no, it. I'm dead serious. I, yeah, I'd love to check. I'll have mm -hmm. to check that out for sure. So, all right. Well, thank you. Uh, we mm -hmm. got our. We'll go back to the lower scrum leagues that I'm in. Talking the next few days. Now that we've done the upper crust leagues, so uh, <laughs> good to be back with the common folk. <laughs> <laughs> As always, thank you for watching this podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much. He appreciates it. He does a lot of, him and Courtney do a lot of hard work into this. Uh, I appreciate for you guys it. for free. For free. All right. And for the love. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll accept any kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> on top of what his wife and kids are. Right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> not, yeah, not like. Pat's son and Shelby's love. I mean, not, no, not, no. That's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, bye-bye. <laughs>